Wherever there is a division, there must be conflict. That's a law, an eternal law. Where there is separation, a division, a breaking up into two parts, there must be conflict. And that conflict exists, because we have separated the observer from the observed. I am different from my anger. I am different from my envy. I am different from my sorrow. Therefore, being different, there is conflict. That is, I must get rid of sorrow. Tell me how to overcome sorrow. Tell me what to do with my fear. So there is conflict. Conflict all the time. But you are sorrow. You are not different from sorrow, are you? You are not different from anger, are you? You are not different from your sexual desires, are you? You are not different from the loneliness you feel. You are lonely. Now, before, when I separated, I acted upon my sorrow. You understand? If I am lonely, I then escape from loneliness, try to overcome it or analyze it, and try to fill the loneliness with all kinds of amusements or religious activity. Before, I acted upon it. Now I can't act upon it, because I am that. So what happens when the observer is the observed? You understand? When the anger is me, then what takes place? First, all conflict ceases. All conflict ceases when you realize you are that. I am brown. Finished. It's a fact. Light brown or dark brown or purple or whatever color it is. So you eliminate altogether this divisive process which brings conflict in yourself. The fact is, I am anger. I am jealous. I am lonely.